We're live from Venice, Italy this morning. He's got this new boat that could help the city of Canals address its pollution problem. It's the world's only all-electric long-range boat. Will Reeve has had the chance to check it out. Hey, Will. Hey, George, this boat looks like a normal boat, right? It is beautiful, sure, but there are no real special features that you can see. That's where you would be wrong. First off, it's all electric, so that could help Venice with its pollution problem. And second, underneath this hull lies a surprise innovation that could change everything. There's no other way around it. Venice needs boats. For work or for pleasure, this ancient, iconic, floating city buzzes with boat traffic all day long. But all those boats means a whole lot of pollution. They have to do something, so, uh, and, and the sooner the better, obviously. An estimated 20 million tourists visited Venice annually before the pandemic started, riding on all those boats. But emissions from diesel gas, big wakes from ships and boats eroding island shorelines and foundations, and harmful motor noise combined to put the great city in danger. Now, Swedish company Candela has introduced an electric boat that could help solve those problems. And get this, it flies. There are basically no disadvantages with the technology when you reduce the wakes, the emissions. Okay, let's do it. I gotta put my seatbelt on, because we're gonna fly. A hydrofoil, blades that slice through the water as the boat glides through the air at nearly 35 miles per hour, making for a smooth, fast, and fun ride. This is a great way to get around town. Candela builds this, the C7, as the world's only all-electric long-range boat. All its features could help reimagine Venetian canals. The C7 is whisper quiet. Boats here in Venice are typically big and noisy and leave a large wake. This one moves in silence. Back on land, environmental activist Jane DeMosto is urging the city to overhaul the boating ecosystem. I don't want to say that we want electric boats in the future. We want electric boats now. It would make a huge difference to Venice. It would improve the quality of the air and it would dramatically reduce noise pollution. At scale, e-boats could really be a boon for Venice as it reckons with its future. This C7 is a pleasure boat, and that is a very accurate description. But Candela has announced the P12 and the P30. Those are public transportation, water taxis, and water buses. Just imagine people moving around Venice on those e-taxis. What a great way to see this city, George. So, Will, you had a chance to travel to Europe. The EU is still recommending that member states keep restrictions on American travel. Where can Americans go right now? So within the EU writ large, it's changing constantly. So Americans just need to pay attention as things progress over this summer. Right now, Greece and Croatia, American tourists are welcome. And of course, here in Italy on those COVID-free flights, American travelers and anyone coming from the U.S. needs a COVID test in the U.S. And then again, as soon as you land in Rome or wherever you're flying, and then to get back home to the U.S., you need another COVID test. But when you are here, it is ready for you to explore. I heard you guys making fun of me before throughout the show. <laughs> I deserve it, uh, but I'm in Venice, so I will. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I wouldn't call it making funny. It was pure envy right there, Will. <laughs> well played, Will. Enjoy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.